is getting off the dock. We're about ready to get out of here. Okay, we're in Port, uh, Port Isabel. Next stop is uh, Magnol or not uh, Port Mansfield. We're supposed to be out in the jetties. We might take an island or something. We'll see. We got a batch back here ready to take off. And it's going to be a good day. It's supposed to be 16 to 20 mile, 25 mile an hour winds coming pretty much off our ass today. I got one reef in, packed up good. And we're rocking. We just got to get out of this little maze of canals and uh, hit the open water. I'll see you there. Hey guys, it's Zig. Welcome to the start of the 16th annual Texas 200 sailing event. And this year that involves 137 people, 78 boats from nine different states. It involves six days of high winds, scraggy, broken shell beaches, shallow water, just sun like crazy, 100 degrees every day, 111 real feel. This is as much a uh, survival event as the sailing event. We usually have about a 50% dropout rate of people that don't make it to the end. Starts in Port Isabel, ends in Magnolia Beach. That's over 200 miles of rough Texas shoreline. All right. Got into the open water, leaving the canals here. Take a look. Get you down out of the wind here. Out the motor running out of the canals, and the day starts. We're headed up to from Port Isabel. It's right by the right here. That's uh, that's the south end of Padre Island, big time luxury resort zone. We're headed up to Port Mansfield. About a 30, I think 35 mile sail today. We're gonna be rocking it. It's a get down to business, I'll talk to you. Alright, here you go, take a look. We got a line of sailboats as far as the eye can see. Winds up our ass. That's Buddy and Dana in front of us at Remedy. We're trying to get their sails straightened up. I'm still getting mine dialed in. So we're all rocking and rolling. So uh, a big bridge here that goes to uh, South Padre Island. That's where the hot chicks are. We're headed that way. So. Uh, Oh, it was a nice light air start, but it picked up fast. We've got a tug going by, so I pull off the side, figures a good time to take the reef out of my sail. Even though I knew the time I'd lose pulling the reef out, I'd never gain back, but I did it anyway. It slid up into some mud there, which I didn't think was a problem, but it was some nasty mud. My six foot tall, seven foot tall pushing pole go right through the handle. Couldn't get any push, motor wasn't biting, I was in there, keeled down to the mud. Luckily, my buddy Dave Brown there on his uh, wind rider, sent a fishing boat over to pull me out. So I had a fishing boat. First time I ever had to be rescued like that. Fishing boat pulled me up out of the mud. Everyone else is way out there now. I don't have to try and catch them. We got about 20 miles to our next destination. Next where we turn off or decide where we're going. Be a few miles after that to camp. So we got another three hours anyway. But the reef's out, sail's going, boat's purring and uh, I'm rocking. I'm just trying to catch up with the boys here. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, hey, but you'll get there. Crazy, fuck it. <laughs> I, I'm a crazy bastard. There's no way I do this trip on that boat. He's got balls. Alright. A little cold to drink here. 
rocking along. We've got another 15 miles to get up to Mansfield. So the jetty's an island. I'm making a decision from there. The jetty's be another handful of miles. We'll see. The boys, and Buddy and Dana, are supposed to hit an island up here. I'll be watching for them. But that's still 15 miles up. So we're cruising damn near 8 miles an hour. So just sitting in the shade. A little caffeine in me. The sun just wearing me out. Take a look behind me there. I passed Doug again. He's way back here. You can see it's pretty dusty. Pretty desolate back here, but I'm just sticking to the shade. Doing what's got to be done. All right, thanks for checking. I'll talk to you. Ten and a half left to the channel. So we make decisions for the night. We're running between seven and eight miles an hour. So. Two and a half hours. Look at some of these things. There's little fishing out in the middle of nowhere. We're trying to spend a weekend on that thing. I saw that! Whiskey and wine. Then we rock and roll past that. We're gonna get some wind. But that's where we're at. Drinking beer, let the wind die down before I do any dinner or tenting. So we'll find out. Alright, I got you down out of the wind. We made it to made it to land. Wind howling. People's tents are blowing over. It's all hell. 
but it's pretty a lot of people are giving it up after uh because it's supposed to be even worse wind tomorrow got soaked pulling in here pulling out lasagna tonight here to do it that's my plan i'm not going to do a tent tonight actually it's, i'm just laying down it's pretty cozy so uh i'll be good jealous old dana over there they got the big old cabin i missed today i missed my big 34 footer where i could walk around in there but uh we'll make it do i'll be sleeping here it's not gonna rain tonight knock on plastic and i'll be all good so that's the plan so right now i'm getting some dinner in me and then i'll check back can't hear me. I'm going to cover this foot I can. Here's, here's the bed tonight. Out of here in the open. Better ready to start out number two tomorrow. It's going to be a little crazier wind. That bay is going to be ugly. It's going to be a nightmare tomorrow. I'm taking you with me. That's the next video. And the buckets here that are usually down in the boat. Got them all up on the platform. It's making a wind break. Plus I'm, you know, nose to the wind. Just enough breeze, about 80 degrees tonight. I got a little blanket here, but it's chilly. And, uh... All right, guys, I'm going to wrap her up here. That's day one of the Texas 200 2023. It was a hard day, and it took, uh, took its toll, and a lot of boats were knocked out on day one. So like and subscribe so you don't miss day two. And I got a Patreon page there, a link below, if you want to buy me a beer and support the channel. It, Help a brother out, because <laughs> I'm going to take you bastards sailing.